Why should Boris Johnson resign? He says he just wants to get on now with the whole business of Brexit. Oh, I bet he'd love to make this all go away. But the fact is, you know, we have a prime minister who has shown once and for all that he is not fit for purpose. He has essentially been found out by the Supreme Court that have been they've been clear he was was unjust in what he did. It was ruled unlawful that he prorogued Parliament. They didn't go into motive. But I think the government itself in later statements has said this is only being done to frustrate Brexit when they were adamant this had nothing to do with Brexit at all and all to do with the Queen's speech. They've been found out. They didn't want Parliament there to scrutinise them. And it caused outrage. And it's not just me. It caused outrage among my constituents who felt themselves that they had been silenced, that I couldn't raise the legitimate issues that they had, particularly around his plan for a no deal Brexit. So we go back now tomorrow. I'm raring to go. We spent today rearranging our diaries and, you know, cancelling school visits and things like that that we'd had lined up. But this is so important that we have to be there and sort this out now. So what are you going to do in Parliament now? I mean, in a sense, you know, everything's changed, but nothing's changed. The parliamentary arithmetic hasn't changed. How are you